And let's just put a little more in there. That's that, that, that beef stew with them tomatoes up in yonder. Oh, good, just got better. The, the bread, oh, it's warm. Oh, it's going to be good. And, and now we're going, we're going to open this bread up. But we got butter to go with it. We got the cold milk. We got the beef stew. I'm going to... Let's just see how good it is. Well, as you all know, I usually come in the kitchen here a beating and a banging. But not the, that's not the case today. Oh, we're going to get her done. Uh, what I have here, I've, I've done, I have done, done a little bit of pre-preparation. You have to. And, and what I've got here, that's that room temperature ice in there. And and, and what I done is, as I done already, that's all the raisins that that I could bum, and and I put them in yonder, and I've I've let them raisins plump up. And right there, there's nine of them in there. That's all I could get, and one of them is standing out to be the most plumpest one. one uh, and, you know, they're pretty nice raisins. Uh, just, they, they, well, <laughs> they're not premiums. But anyways, what you do is you put your uh, raisins in some room temperature ice and set aside to plump up. Just get that done. Okay, now pay attention. Uh, the, the, the recipe today is uh, that Irish soda bread. I'm going to put about two cups of flour in yonder. And you know, see, that's about a cup. And that's about a cup. Uh, oh, I like a little more than that. Put that, put that flour in there. And, and you, you got to put some baking soda in there. Um, uh, maybe about a, a spoonful, you know. Put a little too much. Just put your too much baking soda in there. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, that was baking powder. Just put it in there. And uh, baking soda, uh, you see about how much I got there? Can y'all see that? It's Well, that's not enough. Let's put a little more. Some baking soda, and, and you stir that up. If you want to, use, a, use some kind of utensils. Just get it incorporated uniformly. Now, uh, we're going to need some salt, and that's all I got right there. That's all the salt I got. It ain't much. I'm going to put the whole amount in there. That, that way we can, uh, I'll I talk this with me down yonder when I go to visit the other neighbor down past the crossroads, and I'll get that refilled. Uh, we put that salt in there, mix that up a little bit. And now, uh, and you, you need one cup of buttermilk off over in yonder. Now, buttermilk... Well, I like the stuff. Just just go ahead and log it in there. I believe that was a little bit more than a cup. But if you remember, we did put more than a cup. The flour measure was on the large size. If When you mix this up right here, uh, you want a real nice kind of uniform. Oh, yes, and I, and I, and oh, don't let me forget now, you need to be, have your oven preheating at like 300 and, let's say, 362 degrees. You know, go ahead and preheat your oven about 362 degrees. Now, that's for the, that's for the listeners that likes precise numbers precise measurement y'all see that oh that's really good uh it's that's just oh that's so good i'm proud of that uh, and, and and we you put you some flour out yonder we're going to bake this in a cast iron skillet i'm gonna i'm gonna plop that out on the sideboard there put that over yonder put that over yonder Y'all see that? That's the way your bread dough is supposed to look. And just kind of knead it real lightly. Just, you know, about like that right there. That's enough. Oh, let's get, to, let's get that skillet over here. Now this 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 cast iron skillet, Hunter, it's a large, uh, it's a ten and a half inch. Uh, if if you're taking notes, and, and put you some flour in there, 
just whatever you got left there, just scoop it off in there and coat the bottom of your skillet with that flare. Y'all see that? Put that, put that bread, put it right up in there like that. Y'all see that? Okay, we got that little, we got it made right like that. Oh, it's going to be a nice one. Y'all see that? Now, never fear to, uh, to, 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 to dish, I was going to make beer bread. That's that's what uh, brought this recipe on today, not because it's St. Patrick's Day. That was the compass conversation, but I intended to make beer bread, and I went down yonder because it's a couple of days after the 15th, and the neighbor always has a couple of uh, a cold beers laid in because the check came. You put that X in yonder like that right there, and normally for Irish bread, you would you put a cup of raisins in yonder. But I couldn't get a cup, so I'm going to put that. I'm going to put that uh, obligatory raisin. I'm going to poke it right down in the center right there, kind of cover him up a little bit there. You see that little design? We'll see what that is when we get it back out. Let's just do some more of them. Oh, it's going to be pretty. Okay, we got that done. That's all they are to that. I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm going to bake it for 45 minutes, and we'll bring it back out here and see what we done went and got. But remember, this started out to be beer bread. I did get a, I did get a free beer from that neighbor, and then I remembered I didn't have no flare. I didn't have none, so I came up to the other neighbor's house and I traded the beer for the flare because I already had this other stuff. We're going to bake her off right now. 45 minutes in that 300, about 350 degree oven, and we'll see what it looks like now. We done got that there piece of rock down yonder, and we're going to get that, we're going to get that, we're going to get that Irish. Sody bread, we're gonna get that out. Y'all see that? Wow. Let's get it up out of there. Oh, yes. It's hot. All right. See, it didn't stick. We got that there, yonder. Oh, that looks really good. The, uh, let's, let's raise it up, yonder. Oh, yes. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, the, the smell is just wonderful. And as you can see right there, we got that raisin we done put in there. And just by, just the way it's worked out, I, I'm going to take this for a do. It was one of them kind of things where you bring something. And and the way it's worked out, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and have this. I'm going to share it with a, um, uh, let's say a beef stew with tomatoes. And I've got them there. Uh, you remember, I got them raisins left over, so I'm going to bake a couple more of this, but we will come back, and I'll show you how we would serve this. And uh, let's just put a little more in there. That's that, that's that beef stew with them tomatoes up in yonder. Oh, good, just got better. The, the bread, oh, it's warm. Oh, it's going to be good. And, and now we're going, we're going to open this bread up. Let's just, let's just, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want it to, uh, y'all see that? Let's open that up. Oh, yes. The smell is just beautiful. Just beautiful on that smell. We'll serve it one 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 piece here and one piece there. That was the lucky one, and we will we this actually this won't be enough. And I do have butter. I do have butter that I uh, just don't have room right now till I move this. But we got butter to go with it. We got the cold milk. We got the beef stew. And I would suggest uh, maybe a addition of a small salad, you know what I mean, just a little handful of lettuce of some type. But but not to be a miss, I'm going to, let's just see how good it is. Oh, yeah. That's all right. Mmm. Man. Oh, 
You know what? Actually, the texture, y'all see that texture there? That's, that's what you're shooting for. Is a real nice, fluffy, open type texture. That's good. I'll tell you what. I was right. Good just got better. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? It's time deep. Enjoy.